Hello everyone, welcome back to my stream. Taker Slayer here. Uh, I know we said we we're going to be play as the Bashes, but we're actually going to continue a little hope so we can beat it. So here we go. I think we are relatively close to the end of the game. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, here we go. If you get a chance, go try this game out. It's really fun. Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. There must be something we can do. Mary's in the middle of all this, that I'm certain of. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. <laughs> it may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong, and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on. Let's take a look. All right, oh, here we go. I'm having deja vu. Me too. I recognize this place. Uh-oh. So that hasn't happened yet. Check down Never here. An easy way into anything here. There's a way in here. Mm. Hey! Mm. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. Now is my time to speak before the judge. Maybe we're finally getting somewhere. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. 
or do you now quit? Nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? <laughs> I understand your dilemma. The consequences couldn't be more serious, but the girl is so young. Hmm. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her. Stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability? See the truth. Hmm. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Hmm. What did you see? Andrew's double? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. Is he right? You go along with that? Okay. Looks like we can make a difference, but we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Nothing here can be taken for granted. Mm. Oh. No point sticking around. We need to get going before Mary dooms us all. Get over here. 
-hmm. And look at this. This is impossible. Oh, okay. I don't know how or why, but this town has more than one version of each of us. First, from the witch trials hundreds of years ago, and now this family in the 70s. What does all this shit mean? You think this family all died like the other versions of us? Hmm. I'm more concerned about us getting killed than what happened to them. I just don't get how any of this is possible. What the hell are you doing? No one's gonna believe this shit. I want proof that it happened. Hmm. You're a professor. Explain that photograph to me. Wish I could. I don't know who those people are, or why they resemble us. Could this whole thing be some kind of crazy hoax? A photograph can be faked, but people from the past and those things chasing us? No. Yes. Besides, that would be one hell of an elaborate... Daniel thought we might all be dead. Yeah, neat theory, but I don't feel dead. Do you? We could have died in the crash, though, right? No, the the crash was nowhere near bad enough. No one died <laughs> in that. Multiverse. <laughs> so you're wrong there. Into a parallel world. I'm impressed you know about that stuff, but the theory is more about multiple worlds, not. What does that leave us with then? We're all dreaming? No, that doesn't add up. Some kind of collective delusion, maybe? Then, what exactly gives with this place? <sighs> Nothing good, that's for sure. Andrew, get over here and help me. What's up? I'll push from this end, you from the other. Okay. Everything you got. Professor, are you okay? Professor, are you hurt? Uh, I'm okay. Hey, thanks for joining us. Just about. Uh, no way back up. I'll look for a way out down here. Okay. We'll meet up at the back of the building. Sure. See you out there. Be careful down there, John. Hmm. Here we go. Have you ever played this game before? One person John can take care of is himself. Andrew? You up there? 
I'm up here. <laughs> wow. Do you two look good? Nice of you to notice. Mm. Looks like you've been to the same beauty parlor as me. Swampies. Funny. But also true. <laughs> Am I pleased to see you? Same here. So unfortunately, I accidentally killed two of the. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I accidentally killed two of the. See Mary while we've been apart. Here. No, nothing. You? Me neither. Nice. I'll try to forget I just saw this. You see that? Oh god damn. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. <laughs> no one in the hole is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety. <laughs> Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found his infection with madness. We have to stop this. Get away. You give me that. Look. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orb rests in your hands. Damn. I guess I chose wrong. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? <laughs> oh. John! What are you doing? I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Fuck, I'm ready! 
Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. Hmm. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. Hmm. That was a close one. Mm.
You're gonna want to see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. to go folks where to go You hear that? I did. It can only be the girl. Let's go find her. Oh man. She's in here. Stay here. This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our ta together by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. 
This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar. Now this tent, child. This creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. He's right. Listen to what he's saying. Carver is to blame. Mm -hmm. What must I do to bring Little Hawk back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat up. I know what must be done here. Shoot, I should have got the doll instead. Is he gonna kill the Reverend? Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's awe! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I've not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I can't believe it's finally over. You protected the girl and you were right about the priest. He was the genuinely evil one. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Tell me what happened. You see the girl, Mary? I think finally. This whole nightmare is over.
Wait, did Angela die too? Nope, she survived too. Hey! <gasps> I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. What? They knew each other. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Hmm. Ain't nothing left here for you. Sorry for what I've put you all through. That's Sorry, gonna that... haunt me forever. Oh, You're it does. Take it easy on yourself. We've all been through hell, yeah, right? Finally oh, getting out of this hell. <laughs> There's no one there. There's no one there, Andrew. Hmm. I just wish we all could have made it. Bus driver. What a twist. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. Hmm. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. Everyone okay? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hmm. <laughs> I already knew that it was the bus driver. I just wanted to make you guys be like, Hi oh my god. How you doing? This is a good part right here. This is the part where you're like, oh, okay. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? No, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Because he's the bus driver. The bus driver's Sounds asking. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. 
I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. There's no goddamn us. Hmm. See, he tried to tell him. I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hmm. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. He was trying to help. This guy is amazing, the curator. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All your doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. <laughs> Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time. <laughs> For watching, folks. I am death, none can excel. I hold the key to heaven or hell. Oh, death, oh, death, won't be here. Oh, I have come to get your soul to leave your body and leave it cold. To drop the flesh right off in your frame. Worms both have their claim. Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over for another year? Oh, death, oh, death, consider my age. Pray do not take me at this stage. My wealth is all at your command, and you. Move your icy hand. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over for another year? Nor age, nor youth. 
Your silver nor gold, nothing satisfies me but your soul. The only young, the rich and the poor alike with me will have to go. Just gonna let the song go through, guys. And the credits.
And folks, that's it for this stream. Tune into the next one when I play a playthrough of House of Ashes, starring Ashley Tisdale as Rachel King. Thank you.